Hey gems and welcome back to this new tutorial. I told y'all that there was another one coming. Alright. So this was a neon sunset for y'all. So I'm feeling myself in this one. So let's get started. So of course we're gonna start with the Amber release latte cream to just give my skin a nice hydration. And yeah, we're just gonna rub that in. Really carefully get the mustache, all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and of course my forehead I'm really not trying to touch my wig because if that falls back I don't know what to tell y'all <laughs> okay so now we on to fake priming the lids with some concealer I'm using the color warm honey and of course I'm just gonna blend that in and I'm gonna use the push technique you're not gonna swipe y'all you are pushing that onto your lid poke that eye okay now I'm gonna go with my Zulu palette and I'm literally gonna use all those colors right there. Purple, the orange. So, of course purple is first, my transition color. I'm really just pressing that in. And then I'm gonna go in with the pink. Now this pink is not in the palette. I actually used the Huda Beauty Electric Obsession palette for this pink. And it's not the magenta one, it's the hot pink, y'all. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in with this orange that is in the Zulu palette as well. And I'm gonna put it right on top of the pink to give that nice sunset blend. Okay, I know y'all see it coming through. And you know what time it is to cut the crease. <laughs> I'm weak. But yes, y'all, so let's go ahead and cut that. Now, this is, the way I'm like cutting it right now is bigger than expected, and it's looking like more of a raindrop-ish, like it's slanted, but I want it that way, so don't come for me. Um, I want it this drastic, so yes, let's go ahead and finish up with the other eye. I really feel like my eyes are uneven, but you know what, that's another topic. Okay, here comes the loose powder, y'all. Um, the first one I'm using is Tangy Orange, and I literally have to like press it in because this powder be moving. Like, where you going? Now I'm gonna go ahead with the pink, and this is Candy Pink, and this is by EA Beauty. I'll just list it down below who's it by, of course, in the products that I used in the description box. And then I'm gonna go back with that same purple in the corner, and of course, and blend that out. What you don't want to do is blend that purple onto the pink because, like I said, that's loose powder. Pat it like what I'm doing right now. Pat it on. I mean, I don't even have to explain this. Y'all know what line it is. Okay. It's a little thicker than usual. I'm giving that little fake little drag thick liner because this look needs it. That's why I did my cut grease like that. And this liner is, I believe, is Ruby Kisses Black Liquid Liner. All right, perfectionist. <laughs> of course, my multi-function mascara, y'all. In the last tutorial I did, I tell y'all, this mascara is gone. Okay. Well, of course, before I put my mascara on, I did, um clean off my lashes because I hate putting on lashes the falsies and it's still like eyeshadow on my regular lash that's not cute for foundation I basically just mix the LA girl dark cocoa and the dark foundation by kiss New York and look at it y'all just skin it looks like skin And that's right, that's that can't stop, won't stop NYX concealer. No need to add the warm honey, y'all. Not in this video, because I it came through, okay? And y'all already see my girl Sasha Buttercup powder came through today for this tutorial for y'all. Okay, and press it in. Set it in your face. Do not let it bake, people. I mean, you know what? Do what you want. But... I prefer not to just have just sit on my face looking like a mummy. Besides this part right here. 
dust it off dust 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 it off for the contour of course my mineral powder for movie kisses and it's lash time usually I do not show this part because I be doing and looking crazy but look this look was I don't know what it was but everything just wanted to work today <laughs> so bada bing bada boom y'all gotta show Now for the under eye, I'm not going to do the whole ombre effect. I'm really just going to slap the pink under there. And um, I'm only going to use one color because I have to do the glue, which I'm doing right now. It's the glitter glue because the glitter is coming, honey. There it is. Hey, boo. <laughs> and just press that on. Smashbox. I don't know what you know. I was actually gonna do a talk tutorial, but then, like I said, I don't like doing. I don't like talking and doing my makeup. So <laughs> I rather do um, a voiceover. It's much easier. And of course, I know how the highlight goes. And on my steps, the nose, the bridge of my nose, and my cheeks. And of course, the brows. They not killer killer today. Killer killer sharp. Which is fine because I didn't want to look in too sharp because I know this eye was <laughs> shabbing. So there y'all, y'all have it. And my tear dots, of course. This is a, I'm bringing it back. I'm coming back with the with the little highlight in the tear dots area. And I can't lie, I used to do it all the time in high school. This, that liner, when I tell y'all, it just dropped. Trash basura. But this is another one. This is the NYX, and this is, I believe, just the nude or natural liner. And of course, I'm gonna go with a instead of a dark brown, I couldn't find it. I just went with a black liner instead just to outline it. But of course, to make it more brown, of course, I just added eyeshadow just to you know bring it down because the donut lips, honey. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. So I decided to add some gloss to it. Y'all. This one, that gloss I'm using. Ooh, girl, get your life. That was the next butter gloss. And dumpling. The apple dumpling. Cupid's bow, because you know I gotta shine everywhere. I mean, that's obvious what I'm doing. Okay, because she is there, honey. Mwah. 